Hello and welcome back to Football Daily, where today we give you 10 players your club should avoid signing. 10. jean michel Seri to Arsenal With the Gunners reportedly pursuing Socrates Papulathopoulos and Bernard Lino, the club seems keen to make mistakes so other teams don't have to this summer. But arguably the worst fit for the North London outfit is Nice midfielder jean michel Seri, linked with a 35 million switch to the Emirates. The Ivorian assisted five and scored one from midfield last year, a decent tally but one that compares poorly to Aaron Ramsey on 15 goal contributions and even Granite Xhaka on eight. Seri has excellent vision, creating 2.3 chances per game, but Meza Ozil led the Premier League in key passes per 90 last campaign. While the team were the third highest scorers in the division, their greatest weakness was the lack of defensive work in the middle of the park, as they allowed 51 goals in 38 games, and Seri couldn't help there, contributing just 1.3 tackles and interceptions per match, or around half the numbers Xhaka and Mkhitaryan manage. Also linked with Chelsea, Seri would make much more sense for the Blues, where he could replace the 31-year-old Cesc Fabregas and get protection from N'Golo Kante and Timo Bakayoko. But Arsenal fans can at least take comfort in the fact that even without Wenger, they'll continue face planting in the transfer market. 9. Jamie Vardy to Leicester City Yes, Jamie Vardy may already be at Leicester City, but the Foxes are keen to agree a new deal with their star striker after he was linked with a move away in the 2018 summer window. Back in 2016, an offer from Arsenal saw Leicester hand the England international a four-year deal on 100k a week, and this year, interest from Atletico Madrid could have a similar result, with an improved salary of 120k a week expected to keep Vardy at the king power until 2021. At that point, the striker would be 34, and with his reliance on pace, committing huge wages, the largest in Leicester history, to keep him seems stupid, especially when he is still two seasons left on his current deal. The forward had an excellent 2017-18 season, bagging 20 in 37 appearances, but his underlying output is slowing down, with key passes dropping from 1.3 to 0.9 over the last two years, while shots have slid from 3.3 per game to just two. Understandably, Leicester aren't keen to lose their man who led them to the title in 2016, but it could be the ideal time to sell, with the talented Kelechi Iheanacho on the bench ready to fill the striker's spot, and reinforcements needed at centre-back and in attacking midfield. A new deal is the worst of all possible outcomes. 8. Andre Gomez to Napoli Andre Gomez has turned out to be a huge mistake for Barcelona and an avoidable one. While some Barca fans have lamented the midfielder's inability to replicate his form at Valencia, the numbers suggest that the Portuguese has remained much the same. He contributes to a goal every four games, wins the ball back less than twice a match and creates fewer chances than Sergio Busquets. And as a result, the Blagrana seem certain to move him on, apparently to Napoli. Despite coming up empty-handed under Maurizio Sarri, Napoli have averaged 86 points over the last three seasons, largely thanks to a brilliant midfield. Jorginho, Diawara, Hamsik, Zielinski, Allen and Rog all excel in their particular roles. And it's difficult to see what Gomez would add, as he makes fewer key passes and tackles per game than all seven Napoli midfielders and played just 650 league minutes in 2017-18. The 24-year-old also earns 4.7 million a year, more than a million more than the best paid player at the Stadio San Paolo, making it hard to see the sense in this one. New Napoli boss Carlo Ancelotti should steer clear. 7. Robert Lewandowski to Real Madrid it wouldn't be a transfer window without Real Madrid being linked to a completely unnecessary attacking player. And this summer, just like last summer, it's Robert Lewandowski. This time, the fee is ballparked at £100 million, a fee that could be covered by the sale of Gareth Bell, and the poll is up for it. Recently signing with super agent Pini Sahavi, a key figure in taking Neymar to PSG. And on the face of the deal, it makes sense. Karen Benzema is 30 and followed up a disappointing 11 goal season in 2016 17 with an even worse five goal return in 30 to appearances this campaign, while Lewa netted 29 to be Bundesliga top scorer for the third time. But the former Dortmund man is just eight months younger than Benzema, and pairing him with the 33-year-old Cristiano Ronaldo would leave the Los Blancos with only Asensio as a long-term prospect up front, and no plan for rebuilding an elite attack once the two superstars begin to decline. So it might be best to build for the future, allowing an understudy to soak up minutes in the league and keeping Ronaldo in reserve for the big games until the Portuguese loses his magic. Someone like Alvaro Morata, perhaps. 6. Josh King to Newcastle A year ago, Josh King was linked with Tottenham, with mooted fees placed at £30 million. The Bournemouth forward has scored 16 goals, meaning just seven Premier League players managed more, 
but the numbers suggested that the Norwegian was riding a hot streak. According to expected goals, King had only been expected to get eight for the Cherries, an argument the player himself disputed when it was put to him by a journalist, claiming he would better his tally in 2017-18. 12 months later, and Josh King has returned to expected levels, hitting eight in the Prem. That's nothing to sneeze at, but worryingly, rumours have surfaced that Newcastle United could look to add the 26-year-old as a first-choice centre-forward for around £20 million. The Magpies do clearly need attacking reinforcements, with no Newcastle player reaching 10 goals last season and only two getting more than five, but King hardly seems the answer. He's 1.9 shots per game with only rank sixth in the current Newcastle squad, and though his creativity is better, with 1.4 key passes a game ranking third against Rafa Benitez's roster, it's still barely better than 1.3 chances made by Jose Perez, who is two years younger. If funds are limited in the Northeast, 20 million is too big a price to pay for a man who has averaged a goal every five games across his career. 5. Joe Hart to Southampton If 2016-17 was a hit to Joe Hart's reputation, 2017-18 burned it to the crisp. The England international conceded more goals per 90 than any other regular stopper in the Premier League this year, allowing 2.5 and ultimately lost his start in place to Adrian, the man he arrived to replace. But that's no discouragement to Mark Hughes. The Welshman routinely targeted glamour signings like Ibrahim Afalai and Jesse during his five years in charge at Stoke, while allowing useful players like Steven and Zonzi to leave for basically nothing. So it's no surprise to see him target a well-known name whose best days are behind him. With Hart's four clean sheets for West Ham last season, the same as Alex McCarthy and Fraser Foster managed at St Mary's. Meanwhile, Foster made 2.1 saves per goal conceded and McCarthy made 1.6, with Hart way down on 1.2, a Claudio Bravo-esque performance. Coupled that with deterioration with his 175k a week pay packet and it's hard to imagine any sane club taking the former England number one off Manchester City's hands. 4. Moussa Dembele to Inter Here at Football Daily, we've long been Moussa Dembele's ultras, praising the Belgian for his extremely rare skill set and ability to knit together a young and energetic Spurs side. But after six years at the club, the midfielder who is soon to turn 31 could finally move on and Inter Milan in particular are linked as a possible destination. Still an excellent dribbler with 3.3 take-ons completed per game, Dembele is nonetheless declining in other areas. He now creates 0.8 chances a match, down from 1.1 over the previous two seasons, while his defensive output has dropped from 5.6 tackles and interceptions per 90 to 3.5 and now 2.7. However, the former Fulham man commits more fouls with 2.2 up from 1.9, suggesting that he may be losing some sharpness and speed. Inter's squad, meanwhile, has an average age of 27.7, the third oldest in Syria, and the Nerazzurri already have excellent defenders and dribblers in midfield. With Brozovic, Gargladini, Vecino and the possible permanent acquisition of Rafina, Dembele would be a costly mistake for Spalletti's side to make. 3. Gonzalo Higuain to Chelsea If there's one thing Chelsea usually like, it's an aging centre-forward. The Blues have been linked with Lewandowski, Edison Cavani and now Gonzalo Higuain over the last year, with a few of the Argentinians set anywhere near between 50 million and 100 million. The 30-year-old striker has won consecutive domestic doubles with Juventus and in 2017-18 scored over 20 goals in all competitions for the eighth time in his career. However, Pepito is starting to slow down. After netting every 82 minutes two seasons ago and every 124 minutes in his first year with Juventus, he's now scoring every 176 minutes and his tally of 16 in Serie A is his worst in a single campaign since 2010. Higuain's shot numbers have also sunk, with his three efforts per 90 and two from inside the box down from 5.5 and 4 inside the box during his final season with Napoli. Meanwhile, the Blues already have a 25-year-old striker in Alvaro Morata, whose 11 goals and 6 assists last year meant he was involved in a goal every 122 minutes. Compared to 128 minutes for Higuain, it's not a hard decision to make. 2. Riyad Mahrez to Manchester City No one would argue that Riyad Mahrez is a bad player or that he doesn't deserve a move to a bigger club, but it's hard to see where he fits in in Manchester City, having failed with a January move for him during their 100-point title-winning campaign. The fee is placed at a staggering £75 million, comfortably a club record, but City's wings are already well stopped. Sane and Sterling contributed 28 goals and 26 assists in the league, 
meaning 50 million signed in Bernardo Silva was limited to 1,500 minutes, fewer than the often injured Gabriel Jesus, and about half the number Mares played. As a result, the Portuguese was involved in 10 goals to Mares' 22, but given that Silva is four years younger than 27-year-old Mares, it's reasonable to expect him to hit the same level. Man City may be rich, but if they want to pay a big fee for a bench player, they are better off targeting a veteran happy to sit out for much of the season, or youngsters still learning his trade. Mares deserves the spotlight, but there are too many stars for him to get it at the Etihad. 1. Gareth Bale to Manchester United A man of the match performance in the Champions League finals put Gareth Bale back in the shop window and after five years and four European Cups, the Welshman has a pedigree worthy of any side in the world. Inevitably, Manchester United are linked to the forward, but while he might bring star quality, there's no guarantee he'd provide long-term success. Jose Mourinho's tenure at Old Trafford has seen the club rely on experienced players and as a result, four of the seven United players to feature in over 2,000 minutes last season were over 28, compared to the two out of nine for Tottenham. The acquisition of Alexis Sanchez made the side older, and if Bell were to arrive, promising youngster Anthony Martial would be certain to leave, despite scoring or assisting every 113 minutes at 22 years old. By comparison, Gareth Bell scored or assisted every 117 minutes as a 23-year-old the season before he moved to Real Madrid. Bell's also missed 46 out of 140 matches over his last three years in Spain, and at 28, is unlikely to see an improvement in his fitness anytime soon, though he'd be certain to demand wages even better than Sanchez's 400k a week. It's a gamble, and both in wages and the loss of Martial could end up having a higher cost. So that's that, guys. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, click here for more great FD content. And as ever, don't forget to like and subscribe.